Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a crochet anemone. This is the second in a series of free crochet patterns I'll be giving to you as many of us turn to stay home and be safe. As per usual, there is a full written photo tutorial available on my blog and there's a link down below. And from there, you can also get access to my other free crochet patterns and crochet knowledge. And also if you sign up, you're going to get a free crochet pattern. So let's start today's tutorial. And just before we go, don't forget to stay till the end of the video and you'll get a sneak preview of next week's free crochet pattern. To make your uh, crochet anemone, I've used a fingering weight yarn and I've doubled it and use a 2.2 crochet hook. Ideally what you want is the smallest hook possible for your yarn so your stitches are very tight. For row one you're going to chain four. Let's make my first loop and then I'm going to chain four. So that's first, second, third and fourth. Now the first chain three here from the hook is going to count as your first double crochet. And into the fourth chain, you're going to add six double crochet. So let's start together. So there's my first. So I'll continue now adding five more double crochet. So in total, our first row will be seven double crochet. Now I've reached the end of row one, so I've got my seven double crochet and I've turned my work. So here we, here's my turn and I'm going to chain three and this is going to count as the first double crochet. And in the next stitch I'm going to do a double crochet. Sorry, please forgive the noise. <laughs> As you know, we're all at home and my daughter's playing in the garden next to me. In the next three stitches, we're going to add a double crochet increase. So this one will have two double crochets in the same stitch. Trying to keep this in focus. So here we go, is a double crochet. So in the next two stitches, add a double crochet and a double crochet, and then two single, sorry, add double crochet increase, double crochet increase, and then two double crochets. In total, at the end of this row, you will have 10 double crochet stitches. This is the end of my row two. So now I'm going to turn my work, and I'm going to chain three and count it as my first double crochet. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. And the same for the next two stitches. So two double crochets, one in each stitch. Okay, when you reach the fifth stitch, you're going to do a double crochet increase. So in total, so far, we've made six stitches. So I've got four double crochets here, and then a double crochet increase. Now, for the rest of the row, you're going to do a reverse, so double crochet increase, and then four double crochets. At the end of this row, you will have 12 double crochets. This is the end of row three, so I'm going to turn my work, and I'm going to chain three, count it as one double crochet. And now for this row, you're going to do a double crochet in every single stitch. So that will be 11 double crochet, and at the end will be 12 double crochet total. Now for row five, you're going to repeat that process. So it'll be chain three and 12 double crochet. So I'll meet you again at the end of row five. So here I am at the end of row five, and as you can see, my petal is starting to form. Now for row six, you're going to turn over, chain one. Let me just catch that on both yarns, chain one. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to skip a stitch, and we're going to single crochet. So that's the third stitch, really. And then you're going to do double crochet in the next three 
stitches. So this row, I'm going to do the whole row with you. My first, my second, and my third. Now, in the next stitch, I'm going to do a triple do double crochet increase. So that's three double crochets into the same stitch. There's my first, second, and finally my third. Okay. And in the next three stitches, I'm going to do a double crochet in each. So that's, here's the first followed by the second and now the third and finally we're going to skip a stitch and do a double cro uh, single crochet in the final so skip and then single crochet and that is our leaf uh, petal formed now what we're going to do we're going to single crochet all the way around our petal to finish it off so we turn our work to the side so we can work through the side of our petal. And now I'm going to ch chain one, just to give me a bit of space. Now, I want you to double crochet into, uh, sorry, I want you to single crochet into every double crochet row. So it'd be two single crochets for each row. So in total, you're going to have 10 along here. So this is my first row I'm going to start with. So one, single crochet, now I'll do another one here, this is my first row, and now I'll go down to the next row, while you're doing this, try to get into the side of the stitches, don't go through this loop, this bar, because then you'll create a big gap here, so continue down and you're going to have um, eight more single crochets along here, and when you get to the center, this loop, do a single crochet. And continue up here and you can wrap your um, yarn within your single crochets and continue all the way until you reach your first single crochet. So here I am at the end of my row and I've just cut my yarn with about a 30 centimeter tail. Now, for two of your petals, you're gonna to need to cut a longer tail and I'm gonna explain why now. Okay, so weave in your tail all the way down to the bottom of your petal. Reach the end and I've got my long tail. Now, here is my first petal that I finished. So the first one you can fasten off and weave in your ends. Now, your second one, you're going to need to connect it together. Because what we're going to do for our flower, we're going to create two butterfly shapes like this and then overlap them. With the second long tail, what you need to do is align your um, two petals together and find the center stitch and simply just attach. Center stitch to center stitch. There we go. So my, try and do this so you can see, my petal will be symmetrical. I just put a few stitches in the center and the one above and repeat for the one below. And that will just secure your flower really firmly for later on when we add it all together. Now just turn it over onto the back and just fasten off and weave in your end here. So I'm just going to put a little knot into the back because the back is going to be hidden so you don't need to worry if it's not perfect I'll try and show you mine as you can see it is not perfect there's a little bump but that is fine so here are the two sets of petals i've made so in total you're going to need two of these and what we're going to do later we're going to overlap these to make our petals Okay, so now what we need to do is the center. To make your uh, crochet an enemy, I've used a fingering weight yarn and I've doubled it and used a 2.2 crochet hook. Ideally what you want is 
the smallest hook possible for your yarn so your stitches are very tight. Okay, to start row one, we're going to make a magic circle. Oh no. And at least now mommy's working. Okay, you play that. For row one, you're going to chain four. So I'm just going to make my first chain. There's my first chain, and I'm going to chain four. One, two, three. So here I finished my first row and I've got my 12 single crochet and I fastened off and left one long tail. Now we're going to make the cent second center section, so this bit here of our flower. So to start with use your contrasting yarn, so I'm going to do green for the center. To start your center, start with a magic circle, so my tail is in front, I'm going to go over and cross on my fingers, there's my cross pick up the yarn and gently remove my center fingers. Now to start this row we're going to chain three and count as a double crochet and then we're going to do 12 double crochets, no 11 double crochets into this center. Magic circle in total. So now I'm on to my second and continue all the way around. Now, when you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch into the front of the chain, of the third chain, not in all the way through as we normally do, because on row two and three, we're going to be working in just the front loop or the back loop. So do your 12 in total and slip stitch into the front chain. For row two, you're going to be doing picots in every single stitch. To do that, you just chain three, So I've chained three and I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain. So I just collect my yarn all the way through. And there is my peacock. And now I'm going to do the same in the next stitch. So just into the front loop. So if you can see that clearly, there's my front loop. I'm just going into there and I'm going to slip stitch. I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain, pull my yarn through and I'm going to slip stitch into the next front chain of my stitch. So I'm, to, so I'm in my front chain, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch into my first chain, so pull my yarn through, there's my peacock, and then here you can see the full stitch. Normally we go through all, all the way, but this time we're just going to go through the first section. So take that out and just through the first section, there we go. You see the second bit here. So continue this method all the way around to so slip stitch into the front front chain and then sing um, peek up and then slip stitch into the first one so you'll have 12 in total and fasten off your end. I finished my row two and as you can see it's looking quite nice. So for row three we're going to turn over because we're going to work into the back chain. So now you can see there it's quite clearly defined. So we're going to attach our yarn so I find it best if you just fold your peacocks in front and insert your yarn into the back loop. So I'm going to ch attach my contrasting yarn, there we go, and for this we're going to do a peacock again in every stitch but this time we're going to chain four. So the peacocks will be slightly higher than the previous ones we've been doing. Sorry this is really hard to get in can't into focus when it's black. There we go. So I've chained four and I'm going to slip stitch into my first stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next one. 
It's the same process as what we did on the previous row. But we're going to do four chains, not three. So we're going to continue that all the way around. So you'll have 12 in total. And what will happen is your black peacocks will just stand up slightly higher than the center ones. Once you get to the end, fasten off one and leave a long tail of about 30 centimeters. And now I've got my two center sections of my flower. I'm going to attach them. So attach your needle to your first center and you're just going to simply put it into the center of the second motif and just attach it with the long tail we left from the first one. So just simply go in and out to attach into the center. Don't worry if it's not even. No one's going to see the back. It's going to go into the center of your flower and be hidden. Okay, so I'm going to do all the way around. One more here. And back in. Okay, and there it's attached to my center. Now what we're going to do is actually add the wire onto our petals. But here's my wire. It's about 60 centimeters long and I folded it in half. So what I'm going to do is turn to the other side so I've got my two prongs here at the top, I'm trying to get that in focus. And now what I'm going to do is get another petal. So this is going to be our back petal. So what we're going to do is insert each wire into the holes created from row one, just like this. And then you're going to bend your wires to keep it securely in place. So I'm going to use pliers for this, and I'm just going to do a fourth 45 degree, no, 90 degree bend on each one. So it ties in my flower here. And you can also fold this again just to be secure. On the back, I'm just going to twist this just so it's secure, my little one. And I'll twist that all the way down. Okay, so here it is from the front. So I've got a little cross there. What I might do is fold those in a little bit tighter so there's no sharp wire poking out on either side. Okay, now for the final assembly. So I've got my back petals. I'm going to place my second set of petals on top. And finally, my center flower. And using the long tail from the third row of my second motif, I'm going to simply arrange them the way I like. And sew all the way through. So I'm going to go through all three layers to the back, pull that tight, and I'm going to do a tiny little stitch here so you won't see that I've used black yarn. Now, if you're doing the white version, you'll be using white and white, so it wouldn't show anyway. So up and through all the petals, and I'm going to go again all the way down. and just continue sewing your, your flower in place until you get all the way around. So here's the white version that I made. These are really easy flowers to make and the contrasting yarn really makes them pop. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. There is a full written photo tutorial on my blog. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe because every single week I'm going to be giving you a new free crochet flower pattern as we go through these uncertain times. I'll see you soon. Bye.